everybody, Craig Warwick here with a showcase of one of my custom Marvel Legends and it's my favourite character of all time, Doctor Doom. But this may not be the Doom you all recognise. This is Victor from the comic storyline Unthinkable, which concluded in Fantastic Four issue 500. Yep, after about 50 years of failing to crush the quote-unquote accursed Reed Richards with his technological hokum, Doom managed to kick his addiction to robots and blasting the Baxter building into space and attack them instead with his dark magic. But how does one go about kicking the tech habit? Chewing gum? Nope. Nicotine patches? Bah! You summon up a cabal of nether demons and make a pact with them to become the Sorcerer Supreme you could have been if you hadn't wasted time going to university. All the demons want in return is for Doom to sacrifice the life of his childhood sweetheart Valeria and wear her skin. Yup, this is a custom of Doctor Doom wearing a suit of armour made from the skin and sinew of his one true love. Ladies and gentlemen, Doctor Doom. Total fucking bastard. Give the guy some credit, this was 2003. That's seven years before this fashion caught on. But enough story, let's focus on the figure. Doctor Doom is fully articulated in Marvel Legends style and something new for me has a cloth cape. Now, I've never been keen on cloth or material on figures, but some fellow customizers such as Spawn Sauce and Whiskey Tango have been really selling me on the idea with their great customs, so I thought I'd give it a shot. The cape is articulated with wire inside the seams, so it can get into some pretty expressive poses, I think, and it also allows Doom to sit on a throne, which is pretty essential for the guy. The cape was made using some cheap cloth from a hobby store, white glue, super glue, floristry wire and a whole lot of patience and problem solving. To help the material blend in with the overall figure I used a paint wash and a gentle dry brush and that just added the depths and highlights you see here. I based the figure on a legendary comic book Heroes the Darkness figure with the crotch and upper legs taken from Marvel Legends US Agent. The face started out as a Hasbro Marvel Legends Doom but then that was obviously heavily modified. Behind the mask there are the eyes and mouth of Sota's Street Fighter Ken. There's nothing more than eyes and mouth back there though and the mask isn't removable. I've always been one of those types of Doom fans who thinks we should never ever see his scarred face. Best to leave it to the imagination. And like I haven't gone on long enough in this video, I'd like to just talk about the design of the armour. As I've said, Doom here is wearing his loved one's hide as armour, but I always felt that the comic art didn't really convey that very well. Now don't get me wrong, the late Mike Waringo is one of my favourite comic artists ever and his really expressive, clean, cartoony style is really sorely missed. But I never really felt that this armour design reflected the brutality of its origin. Now, there are probably a whole lot of reasons for why they went with a leathery armour look in the comic. But with my interpretation, I tried to go with getting a feel of living sinew and muscle fibres, threading torn and charred skin together into a suit of armour. As always with me, this is all sculpted with Millipot and painted with Games Workshop paints. Just in case you're wondering, his shoulder pauldrons are attached to his collar with strips of cloth. That allows them to raise when needed and lets his arms articulate under them. So there we have Doctor Doom in his unthinkable armour. Let me know what you think of the figure, the character or the story in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go skin a loved one. See you next time.